What's up, guys? Dustin Ewe here, back with the Florida Panthers GM mode. Oh, yeah. We're at the trade deadline. We're 36, 25, and 3. And I went through and I changed up some things just to show you guys fast. Um, so I redid the PK uh, right here. I put Huberto, Kopecky, Shore, Matias, Kulikov, White, Larson, and Goodbranson. And then the three man, we put Huberto, Shore, Goodbranson, White, Kulikov, and Larson. I think I'm going to go like that, actually. Uh, someone suggested I should move down Goodbranson, so I did that. I put Ekman Larson with White, Kulikov with Larson, and then we got Whitney and Good Branson. Just because, I don't know, Good Branson's, um, I mean, he's got really good defense, but he seems to be kind of struggling a bit. Well, actually, maybe not. Why did I do that? Hold on. Who's, or Larson was struggling. Maybe that was what it was. Maybe there was Larson that they were talking about. 31 points. Uh, he's still got 31 points. He is a minus 7, but hold on. Let's see. What's white at right now? Uh, white is a 23 points minus 10. Hmm. Okay, well, maybe we'll just switch it up a little bit and see what happens. Because uh, some of our D are like really minus, right? So, Kulikov. Kulikov's doing phenomenal, though. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we're going to just change it up a little bit. We'll see if that helps out at all. See if we can reduce our goals against. Um, what do we got for Yakupov? Yakupov is 44 points. That's good. Fleischman is 34. Is that, what's Barchi sitting at? 38. Bodker. I think Bodker has dropped in production too. Oh, yeah. Majorly. Uh, okay, so let's... Let's try a Fleischman and Yakupov swap here. What's their, uh, what's his offense? Like 87, 87. Okay. 90, uh, 88, 88, 86. Hmm. I'd rather have Yakupov up there. Our power play is doing pretty solid. That's, our power play is doing good. It's just our, um, Larson White. Those are both righties. Hmm. I wonder if we switch that up a little bit, if that would help. We put White up there, put Kulikov there. Let's try that, actually. And then, basically, Markstrom has been the better goalie uh, this year. So, Markstrom only has 10 losses. I think he's 19 and 10 right now. 19 and 10, yeah. And uh, Bernier has 15, I think. 17 and 15. So... Um, basically, my consensus, and from you guys as well, is that basically we want to just start Markstrom for majority of the games now. I think I'm going to go down to a 3-2 to two ratio. There's only like 20 games left, but I think a 3-2 to two ratio is good. Um, we should be able to make the playoffs. We Like, it'd be a huge fail if we missed. I Like, I'll be pissed off if we miss the playoffs. Like, currently, we're basically, in our conference, we are fourth. So, if we somehow don't make the playoffs, it'll be... A huge epic fail for our team um, but yeah I don't know I was also thinking about putting Bernier on the trading block but I don't know what that would even do for us here one sec I'm gonna even see I don't even know what his trade uh, value is so um, let's just take a peek really fast here um, oh that's what I wanted yeah cool cop Huberto Reinhardt has a good Barkov's value is like eh, it's so so yeah, he's got one year left. He hasn't really improved. Um, there was the the thought of maybe trading him for McDavid. Because, like, I mean, he's progressing so slow. But McDavid's value is absolutely ridiculous. It's so crazy. Um, so I kind of think that's out of the picture. But you know what? That's fine. Uh, the other thing was, what is Bernier's? Okay, so we got Detroit and the Islanders. We traded away our first, I remember, uh, for Larson. Dansk looks like a stud. What is Bernier? Bernier's trade value isn't actually that bad. Um, three years left. Oh, he's, he's an 84 considered as a backup, really. Huh. Well, I guess we could put Bernier um, on the trade block. Cam Barker and Bernier. We'll put Bernier on the trade block. And maybe we'll look for a goalie. Yeah, we'll look for a goalie. Goalie elite or goalie just starting goalie? Goalie starting goalie. I kind of want a younger goalie though. 
at least under around 28, 20, 27, 28 if possible. Uh, same with this. We'll go for about 27-ish. Well, I don't expect an elite goalie. Let's, let's go to 30. Uh, wants, yep. Yeah, surplus. Uh, I wouldn't be opposed to trading away a first if we needed to. Just to make a deal. Yeah, you know what? We'll see, we'll see what we get offered here. Okay. We'll do that, and then we'll go into the trade deadline here. Let's see what we can get away with. Um... I don't know. Yeah, if we can get Markstrom, because I mean, at this point, Bernier, he's apparently a backup goalie, so he's still getting backup goalie time. He's played 35 games or something, which means, um, you know, he, he's not probably going to get that worse. Okay, what do we got here? Yuri Hoodler for a first and Gem Gemmel Smith. Okay. Somebody going to offer us a trade here? Anybody want to? Simon Gagne. Oh, the what? What? Okay, hold on. What? <laughs> what the hell just happened here? What? Okay, acquired Pat Dwyer from Anaheim. They sent down Peter Mrazik. He's a goalie though. That's weird. Okay, Tampa Bay traded Ottawa for two first CM Cramorosa for Teddy Purcell and Ryan Malone. Okay, and then they put Dominic Moore on waivers. Sent down Dominic Moore. Dustin Jeffrey on waivers. Ryan Malone on waivers. Why would they trade for him then? And then Detroit claimed Ryan Malone. Ottawa put Simon Gagne on waivers. Oh, he's a 79 overall? Wow. Okay. Sure. <laughs> I'm glad I was asked if I wanted him, though. That's kind of weird. Although it might ask me after, but... Holy, look at all the waivers. What is going on here? My god. This is crazy. Uh one hour remaining. Okay, whatever. Let's just let's just see if we can throw out a trade to someone. So Anaheim pretty sure has goalies. Uh they got Hiller. Uh what does Boston have? They have Rask, Tuka Rask. It's kind of expensive, but I kind of just want to see how Markstrom turns out for one more year, you know? Oh, who's this guy? Oh, Hofflin, right? Four and a half gold stars. Ooh, that would have been a nice pickup. Um, Carolina Ward. Actually, you know what? I'd rather go. I'd rather just go for Calgary's first skater goalie draft pick. Oh, there's no way I'm getting that first. So I was thinking if we could get their first. Oh yeah, there's there, there's definitely no way we're getting that first pick. Not happening unless we throw. Mm, yeah, I don't think there is. Okay, whatever. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna worry about a goal either. We'll go with what we got right now. See if Markstrom gets better. It'd be nice if he does, but you know we'll see. <laughs> Derek Morris. Okay, whatever. That's fine. There we go. So Dominic Moore was on waivers. Dustin Jeffrey, Simon Gagne, Andrew Gordon, uh, Leo Komarov. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, no. Jeffrey, no. I'm kind of curious as to him. Three star. Oh, he's 36. Okay, no. Uh, Andrew Gordon, no. What's this guy like? Three stars. Okay, no. That's fine. Okay. All right, so we're going to start fresh with Markstrom. Three losses, and then, uh, yeah, we'll go with Bernier for two. See how we go here. Switched up the lines just slightly. Maybe it'll affect us. Hopefully. Hopefully it helps. All right, Phoenix. Come on, guys. Big start. Big start. There we go. 5-4 win. Nice. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. There we go. All right. I think, what, how many wins did we get? We got 87 points. I think we were 40, 40 something and seven, was it last year? Ah, uh, lost in Toronto. Come on, guys. Buffalo, we gotta be Buffalo. Gotta be Buffalo, guys. Oh my god. Okay, it was OT loss, that's okay. Come on, guys, seriously, bounce back. Come on, Markstrom. Come on, Marky Mark, let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Yes, there we go. Three nothing win. Nice bounce back. Uh, I want to look for goalies, I think. I think that was the plan. I was looking for goalies. Uh, QM. Okay, Le Cavalier is a top 10 goalie. 
Uh, Swiss, there was that Crosby guy. Elite, we were in Russia for a little bit, but yeah, that's not really very much information. We went to Russia for a while, actually. Okay, let's go back to the QM. Let's look at uh, Le Cavalier. Mm. Oh, cancel. I don't want to go for one week. Six weeks. There we go. <laughs> there we are. Okay. So, uh, Mark D. Mark has two wins, two losses. Hopefully we can beat the New York Rangers. That'd be nice. Do -do -do -do. Come on, guys. Big game, big game. Come on, big win. We need this win. Yes, perfect. Oh, nice. Wow, Huberto. He had like two or three goals and like two assists. Oh, my God. Huberto's a stud. <laughs> Absolute stud out there. Okay, come on. Big game against Philly here. Oh, come on, guys. That was horrible. Horrible. All right, whatever. 39, 28, and 3. Okay. Uh, I need to go to edit lines. Edit the lines. Goalies. March or uh, burn you back in. So where are we sitting right now? I want to see. Uh, oh, wow, we've dropped. We have 81 points. We're still in a playoff race because we're ahead of the Islanders. But uh, in our division, we're fifth now. So close, though. But we're holding on to, I guess, what do we got? Two, four. We're tied for fourth. Oh, my God. Tied for fourth. This is going to be tight. Oh, my gosh. Come on, guys. <laughs> Seriously. There we go. Big win. That's what we need. That's what we need. Whew. Okay. Rangers. We got to win. Got to win. Come on, guys. Come on, Panthers. It's getting down to the wire. Nice. Two shoutouts for Bernie back to back. That's what I like to see. Man, like, I, pu I put him as the backup, and then he just, like, shows me that he should be the starter now. It's like, oh, my God. Another shutout? Three shutouts for Bernier. Oh my god. Pittsburgh. What? Four shutouts for Bernier? Oh my god. Oh wow. Okay, did that act was that actually four straight shutouts? Oh my god. I want to see right now. Goalie. That is insane. Four straight shutouts for Bernier? Seriously? Yeah, that is five shutouts. He's got five shutouts now. Oh my god. His stats just went crazy. Goals against went way down. Oh my god. Okay, well, we're keeping <laughs> keeping him in, I guess. Man, like, I want to ride the hot goalie, and if he's going to guess... Oh my god, that's four shutouts. That's crazy. That's got to be, like, almost the record, I think. 3-1? Oh my god, he's playing like a man possessed now. Bernie, where the hell has this been all year? He's really helping us get into the playoffs here. Come on. Big game, big game, big game. Come on, Bernie. Come on, Bernie. Let's go. Yo. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Wow. What is that? Like a f seven game? No, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six game win streak. Oh my gosh. With Bernier in that. Six game win streak with Bernier. Oh my god. Let's go. Let's go, Panthers. Oh my god. Seven game win streak with Bernier in that. <laughs> oh man. Oh jeez. Alright, come on, Bernier. Keep it up, bud. Could you imagine if we hit 100 points? Oh my goodness. Okay, come on, Bernier. Keep it up. Keep it up, bud. Uh, I feel like we're going to lose. Oh, we won again? Wow. Okay, what are we at? Two, four, six, eight game win streak right now. Oh my god, Bernier, what are you doing in there, bud? Oh, Ottawa's good. We might, we might lose to Ottawa. Come on. Big game, big game. Ah, uh, yeah. That was a big matchup, though. Wow. Huberto's got 76 points right now. How many games do we got left? I don't even know. Ottawa again. Come on, guys. Uh, oh, we won. Wow. How many games do we got left? Just two, eh? Uh, I don't think Bernier is going to get a point a game, but still, that's that's an accomplishment for us. Holy crap. Bernier just stepping up, you know, at the end of the season. He's like, you know what? Screw this. Let's get some Ws. <laughs> Oh, Bernier, you blew it. You blew it. Uh, what is? Oh, Yakupov's got 26 Gs now. So Huberto's had 26 and 52, right? So he's at 78. That's pretty good, you know. 78 points is still solid. That's almost a point a game. 
I'm not going to get too upset about that. But, man, Bernier, wow, stepping up. I want to look at his stats really fast. 26-17. Um, 2.1 goals against. Wow, he's playing like crazy. 9-3-2 save percentage, 6 shutouts. Wow. Let's throw Markstrom in for the last game, though. Where's Markstrom? He's only played 38 games. Uh, what? Oh, yeah, I guess that's right, actually. I was going to say, that doesn't sound right. 22-13-0. Hmm. 2 2-4-2. Yeah, like, he just he just can't get over that hump. He just gets stuck, you know? I don't know what it is. Okay, let's finish her off. Come on, Bur or Marky Mark. Come on, Marky. Let's do it, baby. We're going to need a loss here. <laughs> I, can, I can feel it already. Oh, we got a win. Nice. Wow. 49-30-3. That's perfect. Uh, yeah, let's just go to the end of the season here and see how we finish off. Wow. That's intense. I did not think we would get that many wins. We almost hit 50 wins. We got a sick team, though. Like, we really do have a good team. Doesn't look like Huberto uh, got any better than 78 points, but, you know, four games under points is pretty good. Okay, so we're playing Detroit in the first round. Uh, oh, I guess you can't really look at stats or anything. Okay, let's check out the player stats. Uh, you know, let's just start with our team stats. We'll see where we finished. So we finished second in the league with 101 points. That's a huge accomplishment for us. Uh, so we won the conference, it looks like. Solid. Goals for, we still didn't, I don't know, our goals against got better. Uh, 218, so 2.66 a game. Goals against went down to 2.29. Well, I mean, Bernier had a six, was it, f well, how, how many games did he have shutouts in? Four or five? Four, I think it was four shutout, like four straight shutout games or five, I don't know. And then he just like let in like one or two goals every game. That's insane. Power play, 18.1. Not bad, I guess. Uh, PK wise, it went up. So, okay, the, the minor changes I made helped, which is good. Uh, home 26 14 1, away 23 16 2. So, we were actually a pretty solid team this year. We had some good stats. Uh, let's look at our playoff stats or player stats. Sorry, not playoff stats. <laughs> the AHL isn't or the AHL season isn't finished, but I will check to see how we did. I think sounds good. I think, uh, okay, so. 82 games. What do we got here? So, Huberto finished with 78 points. I think that's what he had last year. Or, he had 81. Okay. So, he... Oh, he went up to an 89, too. He shouldn't get worse. I mean, he finished around a point a game again, which is pretty good. Plus one, or plus four. Uh, Mueller... What did he finish? 62 points. That's a huge step up. He had 12 more points than last year. Yakupov finished with 57, which has been his best year, so hopefully he gets better. Fleischman, I think he... Oh, he was almost about the same. That's, that's decent. Hopefully he stays about an 83. Barchi went up to 46. Oh, wow. He slowed down huge. He was on track for like 55, 60 points. I don't know what happened. Hmm, that's not good. Hopefully he still gets better, but that's not good for sure. I mean, his plus was better. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if they add, like, the plus minus into progression anything. So, uh, Adam Larson finished with 43 points. That's better, way better than last year. Uh, Bodker with 43. He had 59 last year, so we might see a drop from him. Uh, Ekman Larson had 41, which is pretty much on par with how he's been doing, I guess. Except he was a plus 25, which is insane. Uh, Kulikov, 33 points, just under what he had last year, but he was plus. Uh, Ian White had 32. We had a lot of defenseman points. Holy crap. Yeah, like, we had our top, our top six players were in the top seven points, and then after that, we had four defensemen in the top ten. That's crazy. Matias, 27. That's decent. Uh, Shore had 25. Kopecki had 23. So even our third line pitched in about 20 to 30 points. That's pretty good. Good Branson had 18. Uh, Whitney had 15, Gotch 15, okay. Although, I, I would like to say that our... Oh, actually, that's not bad. Whitney, Upshaw, and Gotch. So, it looked like the changes I made to defense actually helped. Because, uh, for sure, White was an, a minus. I know Kulikov was a minus. Larson was for sure a minus. So, we definitely stepped up. We got some uh, better stats out of our guys. That's good. Uh, okay, so goalie-wise... There we go. So, Bernie had 46 games. Markstrom had 39. Uh, I think there's... I don't know what's going on with that. I think there's something wrong. But Markstrom, so 2.38. Bernie, 2.1. 23-13, 2-0. 
and Bernie was 26, 17, and 1. So uh, Bernie had a little bit more losses. He played a few more games, though. But he had more wins, and he played like a man possessed like at the, the final stretch there. Uh, so save percentage is 9-3-2-3 for Bernier, 9 one 6 2 for Markstrom. So hopefully, I'd like to see Bernier get better. He's a forced white star, so it's possible he could move up to like an 85-86. That'd be sick. Uh, Bernier had six shutouts. Markstrom had one. I don't know. That's I would think that's a pretty successful season, honestly. Um, actually, you know what? Let's look at the overall here. Sorry. Look at the overall here. Try to hurry up here. I don't want to make it too crazy long. I've been really trying to not be so in depth with the stuff, um, but I don't know. I just I like really looking into things. So if you guys don't like that, let me know. But I I don't know. I like getting in depth. Like if you guys don't want to watch the stats part, that's totally fine. The video's over. But for those of you who may be interested, you know. Uh, so Crosby finished with 87 points. <laughs> that's his number. <laughs> Uh, Nash 83, Kessel had 83, uh, JVR had 83, Thornton had 82, Little had 81, Tavares 79, Huberto had 78. So Huberto finished eighth. That's pretty good. Uh, Giroux 78, Stahl at 76. Um, did we have anybody else? I don't think so. Yeah, Mueller had like 60 some, which is still pretty solid. Uh, goals. Jeff Carter finished with 37. So he won the Maurice Richard, who had the most assists. Tavares 56 and Thornton had 56. Uh, plus minus Callahan with plus 31. We had Ekman Larson up there. Shattenkirk looks like he was probably the best defenseman, I would think. It looks like uh, St. Louis had just a phenomenal season, you know. Rutu finished with 17 power play goals, although he's a minus 20. That's a lot of power play goals, though. He only had like 40 some points. 47 points. He had 25 goals, and 17 of those were on the power play. <laughs> Holy crap, that's crazy. That is insane. Uh, let's go to yeah. Let's go. To, let's check out defense here. So defense usually it looks like uh, I think points usually wins. So Petrolangelo or Shattenkirk will probably win the Norris. Um, Delzato is up there too, but I mean Shattenkirk had a six. Like he should win. I mean Petrolangelo obviously had a great year too. Whoops, but Shattenkirk plus thirty one. Like that's crazy. That is insane. Um, he only had one power play goal. I mean, Petrangelo had three and three. But, uh, you know, like, as a defenseman, what is he? A, he's a 2 AD man, so that's pretty good. Yeah, not going to lie. That's pretty solid. Goalie-wise, uh, Miller had 50, 33 wins. It looks like a lot of goalies don't play that much with the rotation thing. That's weird. Because a lot of starting goalies will play 55 to 65 games, whereas right now there's nobody up there in that range at all. They've pretty much split down the middle, you know? Just kind of weird, honestly. It's strange to see. Anyways, uh, so Bernier finished 6th with wins. Right? Yeah, I'm right here. Yeah, 6th with wins. What? Bokun had 13 wins. Yikes. Uh, goals against... Is that Anthony Broder? Really? Wow. Uh, Bernie finished. You know, that's not bad. Sixth. It's pretty good. Uh, save percentage. Where is he? Bernie finished fifth. Shutouts. He finished fifth. That's not bad. You know what? Bernie had a pretty good season, actually. So, I'm not going to be too upset about him. Uh, let's check out the HL really fast. I'm not going to get crazy in depth with the HL. We'll look at the progress supports and the playoff tree. So we're taking on Detroit, but I'm assuming Detroit finished 8th. But Detroit's a solid team. We might be in trouble. Like, they have a good club. Uh, Butler has 66 so far. Bjugstad has 64. Bokov has 56. Uh, Reinhardt has 50 points. That's good for him. Hopefully he can shoot up. I don't know if he'll get, like, NHL ready, but if he could, that'd be phenomenal. We can move even Mueller maybe and put Reinhardt in there. Um oop, I wanna see how good Dansk is doing. Fifteen, fifteen, and five. Two one three oh my god. Look at these stats. That's crazy. <laughs> and he's he's only a seventy eight overall. That's nuts. That's crazy. Oh my god. I hope Dansk shoots up. We might have another goalie situation like we had four goalies this year that were like good, you know? I had to trade away our AHL goalie from last year, and then we had to trade Vokun. So, playoff tree. In the West, we got LA Edmonton, 
Phoenix, Anaheim, St. Louis, Minnesota, Colorado, Chicago in the east. We got Florida, Detroit, Ottawa, Toronto, New York Islanders, Montreal, and then Columbus and Carolina. See, I don't know how this works because it's not supposed to be the top four. It's supposed to be the top three from each make it, and then the bottom five are based on the – or wait, hold on. Top three from each division make it, and then the bottom two are basically on points, I think. So I don't know how this works exactly. Because, um, yeah, Florida and Detroit are the same division, I believe, yeah. Ottawa, Toronto, that makes sense. Islanders, Montreal, makes sense. Columbus and Carolina. I th yeah, I don't know. I think there might be something wrong with there. But, yeah, I'm not sure. That's fine. Uh, do, 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 GM options. Progress reports. Let's see how we finished here. All right. So, Good Branson still minus 12. Shore minus 10. Huberto plus 7 category. So, he went up to an 89, which is good. That's good for us. Uh, Barchi plus... Wow, that's not bad. He actually got decent. He got a little bit better. Uh, Upshaw went down six categories. Ekman Larson, I think, went up. Yeah. Whoa, what was that? Plus five to passing. Wow. He's at 94 passing right now. Sheesh. Fleischman went down minus five categories. Gotch went down minus five. Kulikov went up plus five. Two. Plus five. Plus six defense awareness. Oh, my God. That is insane. Uh, Kopecky went down two. Gordon went down one. Matias went down one. White went up one. Yakupov went down one. So Yakupov, hopefully he gets better though. Bodker didn't budge. Larson didn't budge. Mueller didn't budge. Neither did Whitney. Okay. 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 Uh, goalie wise, nothing for either of our goalies. Kind of sucks. I don't know why. AHL wise, Dansk didn't budge at all, which is really strange. But whatever. I don't know what's going on with this game. There's some weird things that happen. Kosmichuk went up plus seven. Lippin plus seven. Uh, Trocek plus three. Morrissey went up plus two. Barkov plus one. Okay, sure. All right. So we're taking on Detroit in the first round. Uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty. I'm pretty happy with our season. I think. I think I'm gonna start Bernie in the playoffs. Um, let me know what you guys think about that. Otherwise, I think our lines were working near the end there. We like we went on a tear at the end of the season. So, yeah, I don't know. Let me know if you guys think I should make any changes, but I think we should be good. All right? Uh, yeah. Uh, leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video. It is very helpful and makes me happy. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.